I'm, I'm working from last Sunday when God hides his face from a person or when God shines his face on a person. Never ever move in life. Never ever in an inch or a second in a day where God's face will be hidden away from you. It's very dangerous. To ask the person around you, is God watching you? Is God watching you? Or his face? Or his face? Not looking at your direction. Not looking at your direction. What is the answer? What is the answer? What is the answer? Ezekiel chapter 39 verse 23. They will sit down. I'm speaking for 15 minutes. We will pray and I'll pray for the people of God. We will share a couple of testimonies as well. Amen. Ezekiel chapter 39 verse number 23 please. Thank you. All the nations who know that the people of Israel went into exile for their sin because they were unfaithful to me. So I hid my face from them and handed them over to their enemies. And handed them over to their enemies. And they all fell by the sword. Hold the hand of your neighbor. And say, oh God. Oh God. Never hide your face. Never hide your face. Away from me. Away from me. Say it one more time. Say, oh God. Oh God. Never hide your face. Never hide your face. Away from me. Away from me. Uh, help me to speak to the person on your left and right and say, my neighbor. My neighbor. God. God. Will shine. Will shine. On you. On you. You may be seated. Amen. Christianity is not a religion. It is a relationship. How you relate to your neighbor and how you relate to God. The most precious entity you can ever find in life is what we call a human being. Say a human being. A human being. On the first day, he shouted and screamed, let there be light, and there was light. Everything was being created. But just on the sixth day, he stopped everything. And when he was about to create the most precious asset he will ever have, he never said, let there be. He said, right now, let us do it together. Because man is so precious that God will never sit somewhere and scream for you to appear. But God will have a judicial decision before you come out. He says, let us. Pastor Daniel, who were the let us? The let us is God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. The first day light that appeared was never the light of the sun. It was the power of, 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 of Jesus Christ. Because the Bible says he is the light of life. The moment man appeared, the Bible says, and God went to rest. Why will God create everything and he's still creating? But when man is being created, God stops everything and says, let me go and rest. Why? Because everything God is supposed to now continue, he has to stop for man to continue. Because anytime God sees man, God sees himself in man. So when God sees your face, he doesn't see anybody else. He sees himself in you. That's why you are so wonderful. You are so precious. And he said, no. let us, oh, those who are clapping. Jesus. That's why he said, let us make man after our image. Hear me right now. And after our likeness. He went on to say, and let them have dominion. The dominion over everything. He went on to the land. He went to the sea. And he went to the air. At any point in a person's life, you find yourself in three different locations. It's either you are on the land, or whether you are flying, or you, whether you are on the sea. And all these places, man is supposed to have dominion. Because the dominion he gave to you, anywhere you stand, you are supposed to take charge. If you are not able to take charge in life, there's a big question mark around you. Some, somebody asks the question, if God loves me so very much, why did he create me with the dust of the ground? Now the dust of the ground God made me out of is very simple because everything precious you can ever find in life is from the dust of the ground. Now the dust of the ground, there are some three things we call it G-O-D. Some say God. God. I can say God. God. Now the best G-O-D in life is located on the ground. Pastor Daniel, who, what are they? Gold, oil, and diamond. Now all the G-O-D you find on the ground, listen to me, you were made from that dust. So anytime somebody sees you, there is something precious more than gold out of you. That's why you shouldn't let anybody talk you down based on where you are today. Because where I am today is only for a short time. But my tomorrow will be so wonderful. Some people left you because they didn't know you yesterday. But God has already prepared for your tomorrow. So right now, those who are clapping, you are very precious. So, everything, listen, ev everything you see around you came from the ground. Everything you see around you, everything. 
the carpet you see around you from cotton, the cotton tree, from the ground, the metal, the iron, the ore. Where, where, where does it come from? Okay, Prophet Daniel, I'm holding a plastic. It is the byproduct of hydrocarbons from oil. Where does it come from? The ground. So everything you see around you comes from the ground. And you are the ground. Slow. So inside of you, something powerful inside Jesus, of you, Jesus. something so strange, but unfortunately, slow. because we don't know who we are and where we are going, sometimes you compromise what we are supposed to become. And because you compromise what we are supposed to become, we connect ourselves to the wrong people. But the most dangerous place you can ever be in life is when you are connected to the wrong source. Because life is always and only, hear me right now, about connection. Because what you are connected to will determine what you shall collect. I'm repeating one more time. What you are connected to will determine what you shall collect. Yes, because whatever I see in my hands is as a result of where my connection is coming from. And today I came to ask you one question. What are you connected to? Who are you connected to? God has amazing plans for our destinies. Now, he makes, he makes us in his own image. Man is moving. But unfortunately, all the time, man wants to see something beyond what they know. Because there is something inside of man to know that they are connected to a source. I keep on telling everybody here, nobody in life, hear me right now, is an atheist. I'm repeating again, nobody in life is an atheist. You see someone tell you they don't believe anything, it's a lie. Everybody has something that they believe in. Because, because he breathed into the breath of life, that kind of looking for a higher being is inside of somebody. The one who that is an atheist, let them wait one day on the life support machine. And that's the day you know that the person is never an, an atheist. The person will tell people, go and call your God for me. Because somebody has to be connected to a power source. Now man is moving, doing everything possible to find him his, his higher source. Now God brings different entities. He brings prophet, he brings the kings, and yet still man is not able to flow. Um, different people govern the people of God. Moses comes. Things are moving. All of a sudden, there is a switch. Joshua comes. All of a sudden, there is a switch. Now, when Moses showed up, doing great things, amazing things, one day, lights out. Moses is about to go off and God said, I'm about to choose another one by the name of Joshua. I came to let you know, anytime your Moses leaves, don't worry at all. God has the ability to bring you your Joshua. And sometimes when your Moses leaves you, when your Moses leaves you, it's a place of pain, but never ever worry. Because your Joshua will come. But most of the time when your Joshua is coming, your Joshua do not look like your Joshua. That's why you have to be very discerning and very spiritual to, look, to know who is coming around you. Because some people are your Moses and some people are your Joshua. Jesus. But I you who is my jo Joshua and my Moses. My Moses will take me from my pain, from my Egypt. My Moses can never take me to my promised land. It is my Joshua that will take me to my promised land. So hear me right now. Sometimes the assignment of people is only for a time. Moses will end. But Joshua will take me. Jesus. Now so long... So long as Moses, Moses ended and never took me to the promised land, does not mean Joshua is better than Moses. So sometimes we disconnect ourselves from the correct people that God brought us from power. But anybody who soon forget where they are coming from will soon become a disappointment to their generation. Ask the person around you, don't forget. Don't, don't, are you forgetting? Are you forgetting? Say, my neighbor, don't forget. My neighbor, don't forget. Now, and still, God, hear me right now, still, God wants man to be affiliated, to be connected to him. So that's why we have different mysteries. Because let me tell you, and very, very, very true, life is spiritual and life is a mystery. Never move in life with your physical eye. Whatever you see in the universe has a reason. You know, um, in our nation Ghana, somebody can call a river and curse a person and the person can die. Somebody can call a rock and curse the person and the person can die. Because life is very spiritual. We have the moon, we have the stars, and we have the sun. And all of them, they have what they control. But the moment you call yourself a child of God, you have dominion and power to use them in your advantage. So David said, the sun shall not smite me by day, nor the moon by night. It simply means, whatever will be used by the sun to torment me, it cannot fight me, it cannot harass me, it cannot frustrate me, but the moon too can never harass me me but i will use it to my advantage the last to say the amen is the first to receive it so right now so um because the moon controls the seasons 
The moon controls the seasons. The moon controls the season. That's why when the moon becomes full, we have the full month. We have the end of the month. And even the moon, um, the Latin word for the moon, Luna, Luna. Anytime somebody is crazy, somebody goes mad, we don't call them a mad person. We call them a lunatic. So which means anybody that is mad, they are controlled by the moon. So a mad person, we call them a lunatic because it's controlled by the moon. So somebody can use the moon in your favor or somebody can use the moon against your favor. Now, as a child of God, it could be a big error for me to sit down for somebody to project the elements of the universe to work against me. Somebody can speak on the ground for the ground to disturb me. Then I can also speak to my ground. So anywhere I stand, I speak to the ground. The ground. Make sure you accept me. Yes, That's why, listen to me, you can go and live in Afghanistan and you'll be a multi-billionaire. Yes, somebody sir. is also staying in Miami and the person is broke. It's about what was spoken on the ground. Jesus. Yes, love. So when you are moving, listen, when you are moving anywhere in life, move with your own ground. Yes, love. Because if you move with your own ground, although I'm staying in Ghana, I'm in Accra right now, in the spiritual realm, I carry the grace from heaven. So no weapon formed against me yes, shall be able to prosper. Yes, love. Okay, Pastor Daniel, because the world is very dangerous, so... When they asked me to go to my, fun- my hometown for funeral, should I go? Yes. When I go to my hometown for funeral, I'm not just standing at the hometown. I came with my own ground. I came with my own ground. I came with a ground of power, a ground of favor. Because an altar of God is following me. But the world is very risky and very dangerous. And God gave us all these mysteries and instructions on what you need to do. Then one day, all of a sudden, the people of Israel, they get to a point. When they get to a point, the water they are drinking is bitter. Instruction comes, tells them, cut a wood, put it in the water. The bitter water of Mara became sweet. That's right there that we call prophetic direction. They meet the Red Sea. They cannot cross. God said to Moses, what do you have in your hands? He said, I have a rod. He said, do a direction. He said, lift up the rod and stretch forth. And all of a sudden, it was open. In the days of Jesus Christ, he worked with prophetic direction. A woman with the issue of blood showed up one day. And the woman, being a spiritual woman, said, I can't touch Jesus, but I can touch what he carries. Because what he carries, the hem of the garment, towards the foot, so towards the feet, that's where the power lies. Because the Bible says when oil is poured on the head of Aaron, the Bible says all of them goes down to settle at the hem. So when I touch the hem, that's where the anointing is concentrated. So although I can be down, but a special anointing, Anointing can take me and take me higher up. Anywhere you find yourself right now, that you feel that you are down, a special anointing is. Now, 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 when this woman, I'm still working my case, I'll come to my point very soon. Now, when the woman touched the hem of the garment, Jesus paused and said, First of all, he said, Who touched me? And you, you know, um, Peter, Peter's a crazy guy. He said, Jesus, you have a problem. <laughs> Thousand people are around you. And you have the guts to look into our eyes and tell us, you, and tell us somebody has touched you. He says, no, somebody has touched me. Now, do you know the reason why Jesus Christ stopped and said, somebody has touched me? Because the woman, hear me right now, the woman, we don't know her name. Her name is called the woman with the issue. And Jesus Christ said, they saw you as a woman with an issue, as a nobody. But I came to call you a somebody. So somebody here, they saw you as a nobody. But your identity is about to change. They didn't call you by your name. They called you by your condition. But after I go through a prophetic direction, and nobody here that life has put a name on you, I came to delete that wrong name of you. Shout, I'm somebody. Shout, I'm somebody. For the last time, let's go. Sit down. Go through all these things. Now, God's people, now to encounter great things and show up things in a person's destiny, you're supposed to walk in pre- pre- spiritual principles. And one of the spiritual principles is what I'm talking about when God shines his face on you. Oh, when God hides his face from you. Instead of me praying that God, remember me, I, I, I just have to say, God, smile on me. 
Because when God shines his face on me, he smiles on me. Because when God remembers me, he settles the case. Pastor Daniel, what can cause a person to get to the realm where God will hide his face from the person? When God hides his face from a person, number one, you are defeated. Number two, you are far away from God. Number three, when you cry out, he doesn't listen. What will you do when he hides his face away from you? Lift up your hand right now. And God does not just hide his face from a person. He can hide his face from a community, from a nation, from a people, and from a city. And when God has hidden his face from you, what will you do? Say, Jesus. Jesus. Whatever I will do. Whatever I will do. That will cause you. That will cause you. To hide your face. To hide your face. Away from me. Away from me. Help me. Help me. Change the cycle. Change the cycle. Remember me. Remember me. By your grace. By your grace. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Put your hand down. So he said right now, I've hidden my face from them. And because of that, I've handed them over to their enemies. When he hides his face from me, he jumps you over, leaves you in the hands of your enemies. I pray that nobody here will get to that place. Amen. I pray that those Slow. inside and those outside, nobody here will ever get to that place. Amen. And God will hide his face away from you. Amen. Psalm 45 verse number 24, put it in another way and it's very serious. Let's go even right now. Psalm 44, um, um, Psalm 44, verse number 24. Look at it right now. What it says there is serious. Psalm 44, verse number uh, 24. It says, it says, it says, it says, it says, it says, Why do you hide your face and forget our misery and oppression? So when the face of God is hidden, he doesn't see your oppression. He doesn't see your misery. Because it's in out of our misery we call unto God. And he changes our misery into our ministry. So that my misery will become a ministry to minister unto other people. Because everybody in your life is a living witness of what God can do. So that when they go through the same thing and they see you, they will say that yesterday we saw this one and God was able to do it right now. Because hear me right now, I'm sick and tired of you telling me, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, when are they going to call your name? Uh, have you seen Abraham before? Have you seen Jacob before? But when God does something for you, everybody around you will follow you to your church. Because they will use they will use your life as a living proof. He says, You forget our misery and our oppression. Let's continue. Let's continue. And it says, and it says, now when he hides from us, we are brought down to the dust. Our bodies cling to the ground. When God hides his face from you, everybody can walk on you. Everybody can stand on you. People are not even up to your level, treat you anyhow. When God hides his face from you. Let's continue, let's continue, let's continue, let's continue. But the moment he begins to shine his face on me, all of a sudden he says, God, now rise up and help us. Just because of one thing. Rescue us because of your unfailing love. It means when he hides his face from me and he remembers his love, he comes back to me. Because he will never hide his face from you forever. Today I came to announce to you the love of God. Amen. The love of God is about to be strong in your house. Jesus. About to be strong in your family. Jesus. It's about to be strong everywhere you go. Shout the love of God. The love of God. Let's shout it for seven times. Let's go. The love of God. One. The love of God. Two. The love of God. Three. The love of God. Four. The love of God. Five. The love of God. Six. The love of God. Seven. The love of God. May the love of God show up around your life right now. Amen. Shout it one more. Shout the love of God. The love of God. And let's go to my second test and I'll go to my last test. Amen. Um, Psalm 4 verse number 6. Look at what it says over there right now. Connected to God shining his face on you. Now it says many God. Many people are asking the question. Many God. They are asking the question. Many are asking who will bring us prosperity. And the answer is there. Let the light of your face shine on us. The answer is right there. Look at it right now. He asks a question and brings the answer in the same test. He says, many people are asking, who will bring us prosperity? And they say, to get the prosperity, then the light of God's face has to shine on you. So when God shines his face on me, he gives me prosperity. Now, Pastor Daniel, now, now, this is what becomes very dangerous. Pastor Daniel, 
So when God talks about prosperity, are you talking supposed to put money in my pocket? Yeah, but it's just one part. Listen to me, there are different types of wealth. We, number one, the first wealth we all know is called financial wealth, which is money in your pocket. The second wealth we have is called health wealth. And that is the health in your body. It's called health prosperity. And today I came to declare health prosperity. Amen. Oh, the last to say the yes, amen. Amen. And the third one, hear me right now. The third form of wealth is called the wealth of time. When you have freedom. If you're in prison, you don't have freedom. The person in prison. So when somebody's in prison and has $1 million in the account, they don't have freedom. It means time wealth has been taken away from them. If you don't believe me, go and ask PDD. He has over $500 million. But right now, he's in New York struggling over there. He has financial wealth, but time wealth has been taken away. But today, all types of wealth, I came to place it over your life, over your destiny. All types of wealth, I came to drop it to your hands. All types of wealth, yes, I came to drop it in your destiny. Yes, all types Lord. of wealth, receive it right now. I receive Some all types of wealth. All types of wealth. Oh, your amen is suffering from diabetes. Let's go. Uh, all types of wealth, wealth, I drop it to you right now. Amen. But all these types of wealth will show up in my life based on one reason Amen. when God begins to shine his face on me uh, give me the message bible for that place and let me go to my last test the message bible for that same place and look at what it says right now amen amen look at what it says right now it says uh, look at it right now um, um, please you gave it to me verse 6 thank you um, it says it says it says it says why is everyone hungry for more 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 they say more more then now when he shines his face on me he says right now i have god's more than enough don't clap yet you're not getting it he said right now everybody's looking for more but the moment he shines his face on me now i have god's more than health enough favor enough Elevation more than enough. Man. Peace of mind more than enough. Man. Greatness more than enough. Man. Good people more than enough. Man. Today I declare God's more than enough Man. on everybody's destiny. Man. Shine forth in your Man. destiny. Man. Shout more than enough. More than enough. Now, if you are somebody that your plan is to destroy people, he will hide his face from you. If you are somebody you are so jealous. You can celebrate greatness of people, he will hide his face from you. If for somebody, your agenda is to cause division, where people are united, you just go and do one gossip to break them, God will hide his face from you. You are somebody, when somebody wants to embark on a good cause, want to support a good cause, you tell them, don't do. God will hide his face from you. And the last one, when your plan and your agenda, every day, you are sad because somebody is happy. God hides his face from you. But I don't know how can God cause his face to shine on me, number one. When, 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 when I care for the needy. When I care for the poor. When the agenda of God's work is on my heart. Anytime I see people progressing, I'm excited. When I'm a sacrificial person. Because one day, you're supposed to look back and say, God, look at what I did. And God remember me. Because when all hope... When all hope and everything is missing and lost, what will God remember you of? And in my last two minutes, I came to introduce you into something that we call the gift of God. Say the gift of God. The gift of God. I want two people for illustration. I want two people for illustration. Two, the, the gift of God. Two people for illustration. Wow. Uh, um, this paper I'm carrying right now is called the gift of God. Say the gift of God. The gift of God. Good. Um, um, and um. Okay, and this paper, so the yellow one is called the gift of, say the gift of God. The gift of God. And this one is called evil. So what was this one? The gift of God. What was this one? Evil. I don't know if it will come to you, okay? <laughs> Amen. Uh, I was doing an illustration for with the guy sitting there. And I was using from something. He said, Prophet, I will, I, I will not accept. I said, oh, it's, 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 I said, why? He said, Prophet, but you're a prophet. Everything we are here, everything you say come to pass. You want me to? He said, no, 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 I will never do. 
Yeah, Chema, oh, he went to sit down. He said, oh, he said he, he's supposed to be the better one. <laughs> because, prophet, everything you say, it happens. Me and my brother want to chat. But this one, then nothing will happen to you. Now he said, the gift of God. The gift of God. Oh, cool. Now, I'm ending over here. Now, hear me right now. Everybody, everybody, ev somebody shout, everybody. Everybody. What you need is what we call the gift of God. Pastor Daniel, what is the gift of God? Let me explain. Anytime God smiles on you, number 625, message Bible, check for me. Anytime God shines his face on you and smiles on you, he gives you a gift. Someone say a gift. A gift. Now let's all read together. Let's go. God smile on you and give to you. One more time, let's go. God smile on you and give to you. So when God shines his face on me and he smiles on me, what, what, what comes to me? Gift. He gives me the gift. He gives me gift. Perfect. Pastor Daniel, so now what is the gift of God? Is he a bag? Is he a shoe? Is he money? Now let me tell you what the gift of God is. When you make money, and you have the ability to live long and enjoy the money. It is called the gift of God. Let's go right now. G give me my test. Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse number 19. Look at it right now. NIV. Look at it right now. Let's go. Right now. Let's go. Ecclesiastes. Now let's all read together. Let's go. Moreover. Energy. Let's go. Moreover. Increase the vibration. Let's go. Moreover. Increase the frequency. Let's go. Moreover. Uh -huh. Let's go. When God gives someone wealth, wealth and, and possessions and, and the ability, ability to, to enjoy, enjoy them, to, to accept their lot and be happy in their toll, this is a gift of God. So when you make it in life and you have the ability to enjoy all of them, it is called a gift of God. Now there's another thing we call evil. Evil is the same thing. You will get money. Everything there. But you can't enjoy it. It's called evil. 6 verse 2. I promise you that will be my last test. Let's go. Now let's all read together. Let's go. God, God gives some people wealth, possession, possession and honor, honor so, so that, that they lack nothing their heart, heart desire. desire. But God does not grant them the ability to enjoy. And strangers enjoy them instead. This is meaningless and grievous evil. Be on your feet. So, so, so hear me, hear me. Hear me. So anybody you move in life, anybody you see in life is either like this or this. Ask for money. Everybody is looking for money. But the question is, the money you are looking for, will you enjoy? Do you carry the gift of God? Or you are having the money, but evil. And, and hear me, in all these contests, the Bible puts it and, and says, this is. So the Bible is trying to emphasize that this is the name of, the whole sentence that was read, this is the name. So look at the Ecclesiastes chapter 6 verse 2. This is meaningless, a grievous evil. Then the 519 also says, this is. 519 so, and this is a gift of God. So it's two things. But you know that you get the gift of God when God smiles on you. He shines his face on you. Child of God, where do you want to be? Lift up your hands. I'm done. Lift up your hands. Thank you. Say Jesus. Jesus. By your power. By your power. I can feel the energy. Say Jesus. Jesus. By your power. By your power. Give me the strength. Give me the strength. So hear me right now. Hear me right now. Hear me right now. He says he give them the ability. And the south thing in the, in, the, in the other one, the south thing, the sixth to the south thing, he didn't even say you can enjoy. If you can enjoy your school. If you can enjoy your children will enjoy your school. But he says, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Strangers. Strangers. So it means so if your children cannot enjoy, who will enjoy? Strangers. Lift up your hands. Say so angels of God. Angels of God. Power of God. Power of God. Mercy of God. Mercy of God. Listen, we are lifting up one prayer. So don't wait, don't think about to do about five prayers. One prayer. But pray it seriously. You know, at this church, I tell you, it is not one plus one church. As in say, no matter you know, we show you mysteries that will change your destiny. These are mysteries that will change your destiny. 
Pastor Daniel, why don't you preach love your neighbor as yourself? So you don't know that to know love your neighbor as yourself. Say Jesus, Jesus, by your power, by your power, by your mercy, by your mercy, by your grace, by your grace, give me the ability, give me the ability to love you, to love you. Don't hide, don't hide your face, your face away, away from me, from me. Don't hide, don't hide your face, your face away, away from me, from me. Oh God, oh God, by your power, by your power, sign your face on me, on me. By your, by your strength, sign your face, your face. On, me. on me now. Ah. As I clap, as I, clap. As I pray, as I somebody pray right by now. Your, somebody your, pray. Your, somebody your, pray. Your, somebody your, pray. Your,